Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4, Kaiserreich as the Soviet, I guess the Russian Soviet Republic. Let's continue on for the last step off. So, as you can see, we have done it. Wonderful for us. And I have saved and reloaded, and I fixed the arrow, so now they actually appear on the map. Which I believe is much more helpful for everybody involved. And I was correct, all of our national spirits have disappeared, so our uh, economic depression is just magically gone. Isn't that fantastic for us? Um... So you guys will push your way probably down towards the border here. You guys will push your way to Vladivostok. But of course, we have to kind of assign everything because they all get automatically unassigned, which really sucks. But, you know, what can you do? And I, yeah, we kept all of our technology. So we'll research what we were researching before. Um, it is 1937, so we can go for the next level of industry techs. And we should basically have no 21% bonus. Oh, because our tax, right. Excellent. Um, what about our construction speed? No, 20% as well. Okay, everything's actually looking pretty, pretty decent. Um, we will go, of course, I think, for some military factories. In the provinces, we have a 70% bonus. So we'll just build five right now in Moscow. Is that enough for all of our civilian factories? No, they are not. Okay, so... Anti-air guns... Let's build a handful just across the border with the uh, with the Germans and their puppets. We also have some free dockyards. We only have 89 convoys, so I think we still want to keep on doing two of this. Infantry equipment, we're probably wanting um, a decent amount here. We do got to get all of our production back up, but it's honestly, de it's, it's got to be worth it considering the... Um, Considering we're losing the penalties. So this still has to be better for us in the long run. Um, yeah, now we sell all of our equipment. Or do we? Yes. Okay, I think everything else is still basically the same. Um, I would like to support the CSA, but we can't do that at the moment, unfortunately. I did lose all of my army and navy experience. I've lost all of my political power that I had. But overall, I still think it's going to be okay. So our first decision, as you can see, the Soviet focus tree is actually not that long, but, you know, that's fine. Oh, six military factories. Lovely. What are you going to do? Okay, you can either elect the autonomous, the federalist, or the internationalist. Basically, Radsock, syndicalist, or totalist, respectively. Let's see. Fit and sensibility. An extra research slot is pretty good. As far as I know, it doesn't really matter who we choose here. And does it doesn't matter... You yeah, know, we can actually just do all these right away. So, 15% stability research slot, 2 times bonus to land doctrine, and 5% stability. You are kind of garbage, I think. Um, stability plus 5%. Oh, no, it's just 10% stability. Okay. So, slightly less here. More recruited population and a bonus to land doctrine. An extra research slot and 2% research speed and less consumer good factories. Or 200 political power. Works to fight time wise 20%, an extra research speed, research slot. So they all have an extra research slot and 7% stability. So I think, I think the autonomous might be the best. They have a 10%, they have 20% stability bonus, two times bonus to land doctrine and a research slot. Yeah, no, that's, that's, has, it's better than consumer good factory minus 2%. I don't think it's really a big deal. 0.5% recruit population, I don't think matters too much. I mean, it's probably still like a lot. We're at, um, it's probably about half a million men. War justification time, I don't think it's really that important. The political power, it'd be good to get us as a, a, a jumping off point. But I think we're going to go for the, um, the autonomist here. I just think they're going to be the best. So, Bakarin, he's going to lose. He's, um, oh yeah, he's part of the, inter he's, he's I, I don't know. He's supposed to be a federalist, but that's fine. Apparently, the end of the Civil War has happened. Fantastic. There might be a chance that the Soviet part of the Russian rework wasn't really thought through too much. Um, so we got some rubber. We'll get that. Not from the stinky Germans. We'll get it from our uh, friends in Siam. And how is, how's the front here looking? I mean, you're close to Maryland. 
We can probably help them take Washington. I can't imagine um, you guys are looking too good. Yeah, you're like halfway capitulated, which is embarrassing for you, of course. It's still 1937, so we still have about two years, roughly until the Village Krieg actually begins. Oh, and there's the Spanish Civil War as well. We want to help out CNT. No question about that. Once again, I am asking to take you guys off of this front. Assign you to... A four... Yeah, you seem pretty good. Wait, what's, what's, uh, what's the problem here? Is he assigned to another army? I don't believe he is. Yeah, no, he definitely was not. Okay. Anyways. Can I send three divisions to you? I can only send two. Okay, well. A little bit disappointing. We'll sign you back into here. I'm assuming they, they're probably like the old generals from Russia. And as such, the game's a little bit confused. And so war has begun. Yes, yeah, so we're just basically sending troops everywhere to kind of help out. The city of the czars. Uh, good pun. Petrograd, the city of the czars. Peter the Great is now in the hands of our revolutionary forces. It's a testament to the monarchist past of Russia, a stain for which we should distance ourselves. To name it after a uh, long dead comrade, Vladimir Lenin. Got rid of the Romanov reactionaries and their influence, only to be later assassinated with the help of the German Imperial uh, Intelligence Unit. As of today, Petrograd is no more. So we've gotten Leningrad. We're not going to make it our, it's, uh, our capital. The Belgrade Pact is, is uh, forming up. The federal government has been proclaimed. So these guys are claiming to be the federal government. Okay. I think the Qing might have some disagreements there, but... Do I want to support anybody in this uh, war? No, I don't believe we care too much about who wins the Belgrade Pact War. If anything, we might want Bulgaria to lose and then turn syndicalist. Which should help us out in the uh, the long run. Our troops have arrived in the United States. Send them to Washington. Yeah, don't go up to the north. Where are you going? And also, like, actually, this area is kind of underdefended. Okay, so Sweden has you on the Reich's Pact, which I, which we knew was going to happen. It's, it's Finland that we, we don't think are actually going to uh, choose to join them. Turkish Santa declared war on Alash Orda. That is good for us, I believe. I mean, it might not be good. Because it's going to take us a while to even try to attack them. Are these all 70 day? Yes, they are. We gotta get through all of these, no matter what. So getting our way down to exporting the revolution is probably still gonna take about a year. Especially since we definitely want to seize the means of production, because getting... What is that? It's 12 factories right there. A bunch of extra resources, including rubber. A 0.5% recruited population, which, uh... We were talking about earlier. And factory output, so... Oh wait, no, there's even more factories here. That is... That's, that is so many factories. Okay. Well, first things first, let's go kill this guy off. Washington is definitely going to fall. And you are definitely dead. Yeah, so that is all said and done. Who do we want to push towards first? I would... I'm going to go and say the south. Uh, the south. Okay, Washington has fallen. But the city gone... I believe it's in my best interest now to kind of come up to the north and help them take New England. I mean, there's a chance that the federal government just collapses right here. Nah, just not 32%. They, they still got a, a ways to go. Where's their capital? Yeah, Denver. Either way, I don't believe they have that much longer. If Boston falls, I feel like that's it. Game over for them. That uh, little box man clear. CNT is already looking at, to a uh, pretty good start. Probably about 35 divisions, more so than the other factions. Getting support from all of the international. Most of most countries are actually backing the car list. The Kingdom of Spain, I think, is definitely the weaker target here. And 
all we can do is just try to get us around. Okay, so if Runesi's declared victory, standing high in a pile of destroyed reactionary monuments in a recently reclaimed Red Square, he announces victory to support the first Soviet elections. Okay. 40% support for radical socialism, 5% base ability, and we're already at 40%, so it's going to boost it up to 81. Still not affecting our stability, so maybe that actually doesn't work at all. The 50 percent stability. I think we just got to immediately rush towards these factories here. Civilian ones are nice, but I think we can kind of avoid them a little bit. But going for two civilian and nine military factories has to be the right play. That's my belief, at least. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to make my way to Boston. I think Boston is very important for what we're trying to accomplish here. Because that could theoretically, I think, bring the uh, the federal government to its knees. Assuming there's nobody in Boston. Which there might be defending. There is. But if you spend your time attacking us... You should hopefully waste your organization on us. So that way we can counterattack and kill you off. Let's see if we can maybe cut off Washington. Thinking Providence as well might be nice. Hartford doesn't look as important. I don't know if Boston, or Boston will uh, necessarily be enough. Let's see if we can get us around on some of these guys. Hopefully our uh, allies will kind of clean up these gaps that we're making. What are you doing? The answer is I don't know. Oh, there we go. The federal government's collapsed. And I don't know if it's because we took Denver or if we'd actually... No, it's definitely because we took Boston. So CSA is looking pretty, pretty good. We're going to probably want to send our troops down towards uh, Virginia here. And once you're done attacking us, we're going to want to immediately counterattack, surround these two infantry divisions. Seems good to me. Guess you stand still. At least for right now. And we also got a mountaineering division here, which is nice. Uh, probably still Moscow, right? Leningrad is still a little bit too close to the front lines. I'm a little bit worried about that. You guys are still looking pretty good. And if you are just, um... No, you're actually infantry. You're actually Silver Legion divisions. Okay. I know the militia should kind of be bad. Portugal and uh, Middle Africa are at war. Nothing surprising so far. We are taking some territory. The Pacific States and, of course, the American Union State have formed an alliance to try to kill off the CSA. And we should be completely fine there. I am not too worried. Get up your organization a little bit. Please stop attacking me so I can go kill this one militia troop and get a nice surround. Thank you very much. Okay, no, it looks like the surround. Unfortunately, it's not going to be working at this time because they did manage to break their way out. But I can't help but notice that CNT is not even trying to close up the gap. It took me doing it for them to realize that they could have done it on um, themselves. You guys are currently losing the battle? Okay. That's fine. We'll shrink you down. Got military factories. One more. Let's also make some bombers as well. Just a little bit. 
And the, I guess Indochina did win their independence. Fantastic. Good for them. And it's going to be a blow for our enemies as well, which is always nice. It's looking. Where, where is, like, the weakest point? Is it the PSA? 29 to 39 divisions. Probably about 75. Like, we... I think we outnumber both of them still. I'm hoping the AI doesn't try flooding in, um... What is this? Wyoming? Colorado? I hope they don't, like... Oh, no. They've already put troops there. Okay. It's just kind of showing up weird on the map. Well, do we know how many planes are here? Around zero planes. I want to put my troops here. I don't want to be around the rivers. If we can shift you guys in this direction. I believe around Virginia, you have enough troops to kind of sustain yourselves and be fine. At least that's the, the hope here. I want to attack you to make sure we can... Uh, Get some multiple combat bonuses against you. I mean, the Carlists are already looking like they're kind of... They're close to losing Burgos. Which would be nice. We're still 12,000 rifles in debt. How? I guess we are fighting in some actual uh, combat now, as opposed to what we were doing before. But of course, our plans, we gotta, get, we gotta get away all the way down to New Orleans. And also, we gotta make sure the Canadians don't invade as well, because that could prove to be an issue. Yeah, and your militias, you're kind of garbage. And air superiority is a negative 15% penalty for you, which is really nice. Thank you, CSA, for being able to put up a uh, competent air force here. So we will help uh, push down this front line. Are you getting true volunteers from everybody as well? Yes, excellent. Mexico is social democrats, so I don't believe they're going to get involved in this in this war at all. In fact, I don't think they could even if they wanted to. I believe that's just for the totalists to do. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Okay, so we seize the means of production. Four civilians and four civilian factories and 10% or 5% stability. Okay, the Soviets are overpowered. Like, this is insanity. And as soon as we're done getting our uh, factories here, um, I am then going to try to rush all the way down to our expansion tree. Getting an extra research slot here would be nice. That puts up to five, I believe. Probably not Soviet Europe first. We probably want to Southern Expansion, Red Cossacks, attack the Alash Orda, or just war in Central Asia, and then advance on the Caucasus. Try to expand as much as we possibly can in as short a time frame as possible. To me, that seems pretty good. But the... Ah, oh, the French have even put troops over in, um, in Canada. Do I know what they've done? Have they... They are addressing the army, but... No, they can reinforce, but they have not crossed the border. Which is a little bit worrying. So we got our interwar artillery. What do we want to research now? It is 1937. Let's go for a construction speed upgrade. And I think... It might be a little bit ahead of time, but I do think I want to go for the research uh, speed right now. As soon as you're done being attacked, move your way down towards the south. Yeah, the militias are not very good, uh, unsurprisingly. We also want to make sure we can research um, some armor divisions as well. 
I do believe they'll be proving important in the future. Can I send more volunteers? No. I could send air volunteers. And I'll send them some planes. You know what? Same with CNT. Do you have planes? No. So sending planes to you will probably actually do a lot. By the way, I don't really know how planes join Civil Wars. That is the... Uh... Cause it's up to 41. So can I like put them into an airport here? Probably if I give them 40 planes then. Oh yes, there we go. So send 41 planes here. I'm going to send 41 planes to Appalachia. I mean, I'm sure our fighters are basically hot garbage, but it is what it is. I think you guys are still looking pretty okay. What I don't want is I don't want to spread the CSA too thinly. Fight is constantly moving my way down south. Even though this is going to make the front line for the American Union state longer, and because they have less troops than uh, we do, I believe should hurt them more. I also want to, I also want to get some uh, tanks going as well, because I do think a strong tank push against Germany Probably going to be pretty good for us. So CSA, you better not screw me over and abandon this little pocket I've made for you. I would be quite sad about that. Yeah, it looks like you're still holding quite fairly. And in Spain... Shrink the front lines. I don't be fighting down in the mountains. I'm thinking this province will definitely shrink our front line down by two provinces. Try to push here as well. Right, a little bit of air superiority here. You guys will fly in Southern Iberia, do some interception and some air superiority. And if we have air superiority, how much is that affecting you? Five, five percent. Not as impressive as it could otherwise be, but I mean, it's five percent less damage. Still is pretty good. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. If not, enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.